Hi everybody, we have just launched our Valentine's collection for 2023 and this year everything we're offering is faux flowers um, and they are absolutely incredible. I'm using all of our Real Touch powder pink collection. We've got the roses, the dahlias and the ranunculus, um, which is still some of my favourites that I have ever seen. Um, and we've got four different designs, so this is the ultimate Valentine's powder pink bouquet. It is a huge bouquet um, and it comes completely um, hand tied by me. Um, the stems will be cut and it's ready to just pop into any of your favourite vase to um, display. I'm just going to pop it into our Freston medium vase there. And yeah, just so effortless, so a full 360 arrangement that you can keep forever. Um, and then we've also got a kind of smaller version of this. This is the deluxe um, powder pink bouquet um, using the same flowers, just on a smaller scale. These ones come again arranged, um, wrapped, and they don't come um, cut as a stem, so you can keep them really versatile. I've actually popped them, I've bent the stems and popped them in our Westley vase there. Just make a really lovely coffee table um, sideboard arrangement. And then these two small ones at the front, so we've got the um, faux Valentine's pink rose arrangement and the faux Valentine's powder pink ranunculus arrangement um, with the blush tip eucalyptus, which just finishes it off very, very beautifully. Um, and these are both in smaller vases, um, I'd consider kind of bud vases, and they make really beautiful bedside table arrangements. I've actually photographed them on the website as bedside table arrangements. And um, this is our new Henley vase in a lovely soft grey rib design. And this is our flout and small that is currently out of stock, but it will be back with us um, later on in about March sort of time. Um, and I'm going to basically take some time to just talk you through the care about these flowers um, and show you some arranging tips and yeah, talk about the vases in a bit more detail. So. so these are the stems that you'll receive for the Valentine's um, powder ranunculus arrangement. And I'm just gonna talk you through kind of the ar arranging of them in a vase like this. So this is the Hendley vase and it's kind of the perfect little size because it's got quite a narrow neck and um, so it's going to support the stems really beautifully and the size is perfect for kind of a bedside table or your dressing table or something like that and it's going to be a front facing design and we're going to pop our blush tipped eucalyptus in first just to give it a nice kind of base um, now you can see that this stem is obviously far too long so i'm going to be bending it down and somewhere about there now this stem may show through like the end of it so what I do is I bend it back on itself again and don't be afraid to kind of really bend them like bend them with a bit of confidence um, and then that can sit in there quite nicely and I always recommend with faux to kind of fluff out the stems like give them a little wiggle because if you looked out at nature you know flowers aren't super straight and they aren't super symmetrical so yeah just always nice to do that. And then with the flowers, so we've got three of these lovely ranunculus sprays, so we've got them beautiful little buds on them. When you have kind of a cluster of all the same flower, I find it looks a lot more natural if they are displayed at different heights and angles. So if you look at the, um, the same bouquet, but with the roses here, obviously these are all at different angles. Not only does it make the arrangement bigger, but you also get to see the roses and it shows them off kind of, yeah, you just get to see them at all different kind of in ways and I just feel like it looks a lot more natural. So I'm going to start with um, a lower stem here and I'm just going to kind of manipulate that ranunculus to start drooping forward a little bit because I almost want it to feel like it's just drooping over the edge of that um, vase and again you can kind of have a little measure up against your um, vase if you feel that would help you and I'm going to bend this stem back on itself like we've just done with the eucalyptus. So I've got a nice kind of zigzag almost there. And then I find it easier to hold them all together and pop them in. And then you can kind of get a feel for how that's looking. And then I'm just gonna come around to the front so I can see it a bit more easily. And then with the next one, I want to kind of cover a bit more of this kind of space and then the last one over here. So I think the one over here is going to be my tallest. So I'll get that in first. 
and I may need to bend that back again. And that sits quite nicely in between those kind of the eucalyptus sprig. And then kind of the same on the other side, but not identical. I may not need to bend that back again, we'll see. Just like so. Just really, really simple. But just always have a little stand back um, from your arrangement just to make sure that you're completely happy with it. I really like the fact that this feels very light and airy. Um, it, it won't clutter a bedside table. You could still kind of have like a nice photo frame next to it or yeah, your perfume or whatever you have next to them. So yeah, I hope you um, enjoy arranging and hopefully help some tips there. I just wanted to touch on some care tips around um, these flowers. These are all real touch flowers um, and they genuinely do feel very, very real. And they, there's a slightly different tip to use with these than with other flowers. If you're looking for any advice on how to care for other faux flowers, then I have a full blog post about it because I'm asked very regularly. Um, I honestly do very, very little with my flowers. I think the more simple, the better. Um, but the one thing that I do recommend with these real touch flowers is baby wipes. As a mum of two, um, <laughs> under the age of four, I have baby wipes everywhere and the, these are by far the easiest method. And the, the thing that's really great about baby wipes is that they're, they're not soaking wet. You never want to get these um, too wet. So very, very simply, if you get any dust or anything on your flowers, you just want to take your baby wipe and just wipe it. Um, you can be quite firm and honestly, it will just take away any of the marks or dust that you get on them. And that is it. I wouldn't do anything else with these flowers. They really are that easy. Um, and as well for storing, they, these will all arrive in a, in a box where they all fit back in. So if you wanted to put them away, not that I, I would, I would personally want to leave these out forever. Um, but if you wanted to put them away, then you've got a perfect box to do so to, to kind of store them safely. Um, but that's it, super easy maintenance, um, and I, I hope you really enjoy them if you get to receive them for this Valentine's, and I hope you'll have a really lovely one. <laughs>